Revelations 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, Amen. Giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarian, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. When you see this, the title it speaks for itself. Akim, Akwath, we hear. When they coming out with reports like this, when they coming out with reports like this, they making it known. This is the military times. Pentagon UFO chief says alien mothership in our solar system. Yeah, yeah, they knew this 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 the ship been sitting out there for a while now. Now they coming out, they making it known that we know you there. We know the fight is on. That's why things are moving fast. That's why the system is quickly switching over. It's about to go crypto quick. The CBDCs are set up. The satellites are set up. The RFID, that grain of rice, is set, is ready to go. World War Three, is set, is ready to go. Jacob Trouble is right around the corner. The hour of temptation. Because these ships are, are here for the salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel and the destruction and the final destruction of this world, Esau's world. The, the one third part of man is about to be cut off. I can, this thing is happening, man. They're not putting this out there just to put it out there to start up some controversy with the, with the with the alien chases and the UFO fanatics. Nah, nah, this is a call. This is a call to get ready. Get ready. They say the ship, the ship is there. I just seen a show on um, Third Phase of Moon, YouTube handle that I follow. You know, a few days ago, I shared it with the chat room. And they were showing the sun and they showed the earth. And then they showed a ship that was next to earth. And it was the size of earth. Sitting right next to it. And the sun, it was so unique because they, they were actually watching the sun. They're looking at the solar flares. The sun is going crazy. And the solar flares are shooting towards the earth. The, the, the chariot is actually shaking up the sun. So they, they've been seeing this shit for a while. Now they're coming out with it because it's time. And this is a call to their people. Look, it's all over the place. This is another, 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 another uh, site here. You know, this is this is it's all over. Yeah, the ship, the ship is out there, and this, 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 this should get you excited. This should get you excited because see, all that's why all the teaching and talking is gonna be over because the Lord is about to take action. This ain't gonna be no debate. The Lord is about to take action. So everybody out there clowning around, playing around with these, this second coming, thinking it's not going to happen, thinking it's about your camp name, it's about your debating sessions, it's about the dollars, about this. No, it's about this. It's about this right here. The salvation. The salvation of the nation of Israel. And we've been instructed. Let's get it. Luke. Luke. You know, there's men under instructions at this time. From our Lord what to do in these days. Luke 21. Verse uh, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun. And in the moon. Looking up. We're instructed man. <laughs> we should be looking up right now. Because the signs. Are in the sun. Is in the moon. In the constellation. The sky. The heaven. The firmament is actually speaking man. The movement of the stars. This stuff is speaking for the whole full act. Because our father, our father, Yahweh, 
his son, Yahweh Shah, the word, the word is on his way. So there's going to be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, the stress of nations. So the Lord is shaking up the heavens and he's shaking up this heaven here on earth. So everything is shaking up like second Ezra 9. This is the time that the Lord will begin to visit the earth, which he made and remove Esau. This is the end of Esau's world right here, man. Second address six and nine. E, you going down. You going down. This is the time to get on your high side, man. If you've been chosen. This is very exciting. And we ended off, you know, the Passover is 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 is, 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 is sewing up. The Feast of Unleavened Bread, we're coming down to, I think we, we'll be in uh, tomorrow night. No telling what the Lord is about to do to this place. But we at the end. This is the, this is the hopeful year of all the prophecies being fulfilled. Will the Lord is speed it up? Because remember, he's going to cut it in half for the elect's sake. He's going to cut this thing short. So it says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, the stress of nations. And aren't the nations the stress? Look at how many, Google how many wars are being fought right now. Look at the minds of the people. Look what's going on in the earth. But that, that's because we at the end. And Jacob running around like a clown. Like an idiot, oh, he is in trouble. The stress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Yeah, the Lord's shaking up the oceans too. But that sea and the wave can be, goes into the people as well. Men's heart filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, yeah? Because if your eyes are open, man, this is a very nervous time. But here go Jake, worrying about overtime, worried about that damn buck, <laughs> which is going to cause him to take the MOTB because you're so damn greedy for the currency to keep things going. You're going to put yourself in a, in a, in a, in a, in a death-defying situation by putting that grain of rice in you because you're that damn greedy for the money. But men's heart is failing them. And it's really going to fail <laughs> when they really get a whiff. And the Lord going to call all y'all about you outside. Watch. He may sit, sit a few chariots right over to some major cities, man. Where, like the apostles say, so everybody can get a view. Everybody can see for your own self that, look, the ships are here. And elect, we know who was in them ships. So men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud. What's that cloud? That ship here. But it's a fathership, not a mothership. That they're admitting is sitting out there in our solar system. Now they coming out with it. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud. With power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass. Then look up. And that's what we instruct. We checking out everything. Even the skies. Because the salvation is coming from there. And lift up your heads. For your redemption. Redeeming man. On them ships of the bodies. The new, the heavenly bodies of the whole four elect man. The 144,000. The redemption draweth near. Our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Let's get it. Let's get it. And close on this, man. Oh, this, this is exciting. Aki Makwa, go get this report. Check it out. Read it. Read it for yourself, man. We close. How close? We don't know. So that's why you got to stay on your guard. Stay on. Don't get caught slacking. Don't get caught. Oh, I'm going to take this day off. And there ain't no days off right now. You, your spirit should be in overtime. 
Not your damn job. Not no OT for your job. You should be on OT for your how about Shim Yahweh Shah right now, man. Don't get caught as a thief, as a, a, a thief in the night. Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. All oh, praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, Akim Akwa. Shalom.